Headlines today blows the lid of Mumbai police's dark, dirty 2611 secret. We are going to tell you how faulty bulletproof vests send Mumbai's brave hearts to their doom. Headlines today has in its exclusive possession the file that Mumbai police claims is missing. This is the file that holds the key to whether Hemant Karkare wore a bulletproof jacket that had been rejected in field trials. We have documents that prove how the West's failed crucial tests conducted by a committee headed by additional commissioner of police Surinder Kumar. They were purchased despite the police's report saying that these vests were bad and should not have been purchased. Police's top officers were in a hurry to make advance payments and then when this matter came to light, they were in a hurry to bury all the details pertaining to the case. These dirty deals were followed by an even dirtier cover-up. Tonight on Centre Stage, we will unmask these traitors who wronged Karkare and the entire nation. You're watching Centre Stage with Rahul Kaval. For the last 582 days to this hour, Kavita Karkare, Smita Salaskar and Vinita Khamte have lived a miserable life. Every moment they have thought only about whether their husbands could have been saved. They have wondered about whether the bulletproof jackets that Himan Karkare and his team were given were strong enough to withstand enemy bullets. The Mumbai police has made every attempt possible to hide the truth. First, Karkare's jacket went missing, then in very mysterious circumstances, the file, the crucial file that contained critical details about the purchase of these bulletproof jackets also went missing. The cops say they have no idea where the file is. The commissioner has given a sworn affidavit in court saying the file is lost and to the best of his knowledge, the jackets that were bought were of the highest quality. All these people have been lying. The Mumbai police has known the truth all this while but senior officers have chosen to lie to their team. Tonight, center stage is going to blow bullets off the lies being propagated by the top officers of the Mumbai police. I hold in my hands tonight the 15 crucial pages that the Mumbai police wants and claims have gone missing. These are the pages, this is the report that holds the key to the mystery surrounding the death of Hemant Karkare on 26-11-2008. This is a Headlines Today special investigation because India deserves to know the truth. Because this is one terror attack we cannot, just cannot afford to forget. We will get you this big expose. Here it is, the 15 pages that the Mumbai police is claiming are lost. They've said so in court, they've said it. To the wives of these three martyrs, we've dug out those pages. We've got some very serious questions that we're going to be asking on Centre Stage tonight. Let's get started. These are the stories that have made the headlines today. The rape of Bellari continues unchecked. Headlines today, cameras capture illegal mining in the Sandur forests despite a ban by the Union Environment Ministry. CM Yadurappa turns a blind eye even as the opposition guns for him. Former Prime Minister Deve Gowda alleges that Yadurappa is hand in glove with the Reddy brother. Srinagar flares up again as protesters pelt stones during a march called by the Hurriyat. Undeterred pilgrims brave Kashmir's unrest as the first batch of Amarnath Yatris leaves Baltan. IB report claims stone pelters are being funded from across the border. This is a headline today, excuse me. Narayanpur killing reveals the savagery of the Naxals. Autopsy reports of 27 killed CRPF Jawans show the Naxals brutally butchered them. Their bodies were pumped with bullets, their throats slit and the heads smashed. Could there be more than one psycho killer prowling the streets of Mumbai? Cops crack one out of three sensational Kurla murders. DNA samples nail a suspect named Javed Ahmed Sheikh. But two other cases still remain a mystery. The chief minister says detectives are on the killer's trail. And supermodel Viveka Babji's family breaks its silence six days after her mysterious suicide. They put Viveka's boyfriend, Gautam Vora, firmly in the dock, 
say the two were planning to get married, trash theories of models fight with clinical depression.